So guys, welcome back to another review guys. This is your boy Ja, again coming to you from Outrius, Jamaica guys. So guys, I'm really really excited about this one now because I love the original creation this original creation and the flankers as well from the house of alexander fragrances guys i love it deeply guys i remember when i first got um, a sample of this one with a purchase i remember i remember hani saying to me that he's coming with something guys that will be the best tobacco and vanilla type scent i ever smell guys and i do love herod parfums and more herod guys that's what he actually said to me guys and I was like in the back of my head that's not possible no way no way no way Jose no way but guys let me tell you straight up guys when I got the sample and I smelled the sample guys I was completely blown the quality of the ingredients in this fragrance I picked up a boozy hat boozy ass tobacco and vanilla concoction guys it was just perfect it was love at first sniff guys and i ain't joking to you guys the first time i wore this fragrance the performance on this one was beastly this one is none other than hafez 1984 guys hafez 1984 i believe i was the first one to do a review on this fragrance I was the first one to really rave about this fragrance. A lot of persons they were like, no, the fragrance can't be that good, guys. But this is my number one from the house, especially from the original creations, guys. This one, it deserves to be in Neyman, Neyman Marcus. It deserves to be in Saks. It deserves to be in Bloomingdale, guys. I ain't joking, guys. This one, a lot of persons compare it to Carlisle. In fact, I wore this one while my friend was here with Big and Fragum as well. And when he smelled it on me, he was asking if I'm wearing Carlisle because I have a bottle of Carlisle. But I was not wearing Carlisle, I was wearing Hafez and he was impressed. This one guys has notes, it's um, on the side. This is from the old presentation guys, look. And I want you guys to see how much I've used out of this juice guys. But it says woody, woody aromatic, sweet patchouli, it leaves out the booziness, which is the rum, guys. It leaves out the um, the tobacco, the vanilla. So this is phenomenal, guys. The complement ratio on this one is 10 out of 10, guys. Every time I wear this fragrance, I get numerous compliments, guys. The projection on this one, guys. Listen, it's not like I have a tape measure to measure how far the scent projects, guys. But I'm gonna tell you of this experience. I wore this one to a party, um, a friend of mine, or a surprise birthday party, I wore this fragrance. The following day, in fact, while I was at the party, everyone was complimenting me on this one. The following day, I went downstairs because I live in an apartment. And when I got back upstairs, I was smelling the fragrance from my turn, the corner. I was like, why am I smelling half this? Why? When I looked down by my door from the corner, guys, it was about one, two, three, four, Four, it, no, it was five, five doors down, guys. That was over 20 feet, guys. My significant other, she was wearing the marina, the shirt that I wore the night before, guys. She was wearing that one while she stood outside and I was smelling it all the way from the end of the corridor and I was impressed, guys. That, that's when I really knew this was a beast, guys. I'm not exaggerating or anything, but this one, phenomenal, guys. The next one I'm going to be talking about, guys, is the second in command, Hafez 1984 Intense, guys. This one, trust me, guys, this one says leather, oud, coffee, tonka, but let me tell you, guys, it slightly reminds me of a particular fragrance, Kalimak Black, the oud, the sweetness in that one, that's the one it reminds me of, guys. This one, the leather is not as prominent, however, the oud, the coffee and the tonka, it gives it that slight gourmandy oudy kind of vibe, guys. It really, 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 really nice. I wore this one to work and the complement ratio on this one is not as beastly or 
is not really that comparable to Hafez in Hafez in 1984, but it's really really good as well, guys. I wore this one sometime, I think a couple days ago, and the compliment factor, I think I got about three compliments in total, guys. It's not like I wear this one as often as I wore the 1984 the original, but this flanka is really really good as well, guys. Would I vote this one over Hafez? No. Hafez would still be leading this one, guys. It's a good flanker, however, it does not compare to the original. This is sweet, guys. I must tell you, guys. It's, as a matter of fact, it's slightly similar to Mula Mula as well, guys. If you have smelled Mula Mula, Mula Mula from Byron Perfume, you'll get a slight similar vibe to this one, guys. It is really, really nice. You guys should give it a try. If you have, please leave a comment down below and tell me which one of these two are your favorite. Now, the one, guys, Hafez Gold, guys. And this is the newest release from the original side, guys. This one, woody, ambery, um, powdery as well, guys. Those were a few of the notes in this one, but let me tell you guys this. Some persons in Fragcom were trying to, to picture 1981X, which is Naxos, the of Naxos along with um, Hafez 1984 but let me tell you guys it is completely different from those two merging together guys this is like a gourmand heaven guys it's not really that further up in heaven it's like the pearly gate the beginning of the gate itself yes that's the kind of vibe I'm getting with this one it is woody it is I think it has some similar notes like some um, caramel in this one as well guys because when I put on this fragrance, guys, I do get caramel, I do get a powdery aspect, and I do get one of my favorite notes in fragrances, which is amber note, guys. It is smooth as hell. It is delicious. However, guys, the dry down is where the magic happens with this fragrance. Initially, when you spray it, let me spray it now, guys. Initially, when you spray it, the opening, guys, is very caramel, um, caramelized, nutty, caramelized, nutty vibe, guys. Not to mention powdery as well, guys, and a slight woody aspect of it, but the dry down is where the amber really projects itself, guys. The performance on this one, as a matter of fact, I think I'm getting some form of, some form of lemon undertone. I'm not sure if lemon is, is in this fragrance, but I'm, I'm, do, I'm definitely getting lemon. It is really, really nice. The opening is not something that will really grab you at first, but the dry down, guys, is where the magic happens with this one. The performance, um, I'm gonna share a picture as well, guys. I wore this one to work two Fridays ago, guys, and yesterday while I was packing, which was Friday, I was, yesterday, Friday, I was packing to go um, on a vacation with the family, and I went into the laundry room, guys, and the shirt, I took up a shirt, and I was like, whoa, what the hell smells so freaking good? When I looked, it was the shirt I wore, half as gold in, guys. Half as gold and the compliment factor on this one, I think I only got about two. Yeah, I got about two or three compliments, if I'm sorry, I'm correct, guys. So, all of them will garnish your compliment, but none of these two flankers can compare to the original for me. For me, I'm telling you, guys, other persons will say that this is greater than the 1984, but in my opinion, it is not, guys. At least for me, it's not. I love 1984 itself, the original, because that is my number one. So I will give this one a few more wearings, guys, and see if it, but I doubt it will. This one, if I should recommend when to wear this one, guys, given that I live in the tropics, I wear whatever I feel like, whenever I feel like. As a matter of fact, I am gender neutral when it comes down to fragrances. I don't care. I will wear whatever I feel comfortable wearing with guys and I will wear it, wear it with pride guys. But this one for those of you in um, like US region, Canada, Europe, all of those different regions guys, you guys, I think this would be more suitable wearing during fall or winter guys. Given the gourmet aspect of it, the sweet aspect, yeah, I think this one would be much, 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 much pleasing if worn in those time guys anyhow um let me give you guys my overall rating on these three 
I let me repeat Hafez 1984 the original one is better to me next I think I would line this up with the gold over the um the intense guys because I'm a gourmandic type person and I really do enjoy gourmand fragrances so it would be Hafez 1984 gold and then intense guys so there you have it this is your boy Jagen coming to you from Ocho Rios, Jamaica guys thank you for tuning in please leave a comment down below like subscribe to my channel and share this video as well peace I'm out